the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So we gather together this morning here at St. Thomas the Apostle Church. We celebrate Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent. The scriptures can be challenging as we listen to them and integrate them into our lives. But again, they call us to put our trust in Christ. So we do that now, acknowledging our sin, seeking God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to, de to, de to deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow you each day. Christ have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you continue to nourish and strengthen and form us at your table. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in the desert, where there is no food or water we are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height and from heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. 
O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. And he said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? And Jesus said to them, What I told you from, from the beginning. I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading, from the Old Testament book of Numbers, recounts a strange incident that also lights the way for us to the celebration of Easter. The journey to the Promised Land was not what the people of Israel expected it to be. They, of course, knew it wasn't going to be a sleigh ride, but they didn't even come close to imagining how hard it would be. Many complained. Many even lost faith in God. And the Lord allowed these seraph, these fiery serpents, to bite them. And God withheld, it it seems God withheld his special care from the people of Israel to show them what life without his grace, without his presence, would be like. It was only when they looked upon the bronze serpent that Moses created, which God commanded Moses to lift up, did they renew their former obedience to God's word. And then they were healed. None of their doctors, not their natural immune system, could help them. It was only obedience to God's word when they renewed their faith in God, that healing came. So of course it wasn't the bronze serpent by itself, but their obedience and their renewed faith in God that brought about healing. You know, we are saved from our sin, and we're given strength for the journey of life by looking to Jesus' saving death on the cross power of Jesus' death and resurrection is ultimately what saves us. During Lent, it's not our fasting and penances by themselves that save us. They do so only if they draw us to a deeper faith in Christ, to embrace the crucified one. On our journey of faith, we know inner healing not only by looking at, but by embracing the teaching and the truth of Jesus. 
You know, as we embrace the cross of Jesus, Jesus calls us to serve. Jesus calls us to put our trust ultimately in him. For he is with us, and he ultimately desires for us the fullness of life. Together as God's people, let us now bring our prayers and petitions before our God. Let us pray for the church, the people of God, that during this time of the corona epidemic, pandemic, that we may continue to grow in putting our trust in God, that we may continue to reach out to those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us continue to pray for the leaders of our world, that they be, may be open to you, your spirit of wisdom as they serve the needs of all people, particularly the most vulnerable among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are sick in need of prayers for healing. We continue to pray for the people battling the virus. We pray also for those who are recovering from surgeries, those who continue to battle cancer, those struggling with mental illness and addictions. May the healing spirit of Christ uplift, renew, and strengthen them. For the sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us continue to pray for the medical personnel throughout the world that care for the sick, that your healing spirit be with them, that they may be kept safe, trusting in your promise and your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who have died. We especially remember Kay Alley. We remember Father Charlie Gorman and all our beloved dead. May they share in the fullness of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we bring your personal prayers before our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Good and gracious God, we are grateful that we can gather together to give you our thanks and praise in this celebration of the Mass. Once again, we bring our prayers, our petitions, our needs before you, aware of your great love for us. And we ask that you grant them for us, but only if they be your will, for we ask them all through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise and glory of you, for our good and good of all. 
We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The, the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, this is Jesus, the, L the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ.